Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in the last few videos we have seen while calling the post method, we can either have a JSON file, okay, or it can be a JSON object. So we have seen two ways through which we can call the post method. So we have called through the JSON object first and then we have tried with the JSON file because sometime in a framework you already get a JSON file and you need to call the JSON uh, request on the basis of JSON files. All right. So if you're not seen this video, I would request you to please go and see that uh, videos on the post which I have given because what we are going to do now, we will just go further because sometime it might possible that you are not getting a file also and you don't have to create a JSON object. There is a Java object which you get. Okay. Or there is a Java object which you have to create first because it can be a complex object also. It would not be a straightforward like, you know, a JSON object or like a key and a value. Or uh, it might not be as straight as file also you're not getting a file it can be a complex art object also for example you know any uh, class for example student class which have different things sections and uh, roll numbers and other things also so for that those kinds of scenario we can create the Java object and then I will tell you how to do that into this video so this is a blank class and what we do now so we will go ahead and copy our one of the code before just to save the time I have already given the details of this code earlier so please look into that video and now what we do now instead of creating a JSON object or a JSON file I will just remove this okay we will create a new Java class so let me create a new Java class here so I will do a right click new and I will say class and I can give any name here. So let me call it as JSON input data. Okay. So it's JSON input data. All right. And I will click on finish. So this is a blank Java class I have created. Now, you know that uh, for JSON, this is the format we were giving. So this is a format we have to use here also. So I have to give ID title and author so id is an integer and these are string so i will create three members here in the class okay so i will create here private and id all right once i have done that i will say private string and then we have title okay and then private string and then author all right so these are the three data variables I have created now what I will do I will create a getter and setter for these class so first we will do that and then I will make you understand why we did that okay so that it's more clear so now to do a getter and setter we don't in if you're working in Eclipse we don't have to do it manually we can just do a right click here and here we can go to source and we can go to generate getters and setters and here we have to select all and then click on ok so it will set a getter and setter for me for example get i set i get title set title get author set author so whenever we are working on any of the object which has these data we can just call get or set through which we can store the data and retrieve the data from this class okay now what I want, I also want one constructor. So I will do a right click and then again I go to source and here would be generate constructor using fields. Okay. So I will select all and click on OK. All right. I will remove this super. I don't need that. Okay. So see this is the way I'm storing the data. So whenever I will call an object of this JSON input data, I just need to provide this data. It will automatically store the data in these fields. And whenever we want to, you know, get the data, we will just call get author and we will get the data. For now, we will don't need it. But later on, we may need to get the data also from here. Okay. So right now, we will just use the set data and we will use this constructor. And let's see how we do that. So I will do control C here. I will go to my class and here I will create an object of that, right? So it's JSON input data and I will create one variable here. 
okay equal to new class and here I need to give something like 26 comma and can be title so it would be title 26 okay and I can give author 26 okay all right so here I have given here and what I will do I will copy this object and here I can body I can give okay so let's see what I'm doing right now I am creating an object of JSON input data class and there I am passing three values 26 title 26 and author 26 if you want you can just utilize that utility method which I have used before to get a random data also but right now I am just giving this one so if you see I have given that method somewhere uh, not here all right so see this is the method I have used to get the random data new random dot next int and then 1000 inside that and then whatever you know I am giving the data I am just you know giving that ID also so that every time you know it has a different ID if you want we can use this code there also so let me go there in Java object so alright so this is a random ID and what I will do I will just copy this and where I have given here random ID and here also I will give this random ID and here I will just remove the 26 here because we are getting a random ID now okay so every time when we run it has a different data if you want to give a constant you can give that also all right so right now we are giving a data here and what this class will do so from this when we are calling this these brackets that's mean it is calling the constructor and we are giving this data here and what this constructor is doing this constructor is you know it is calling this dot ID so that's mean it is calling this ID okay in this ID we are storing this data whatever we have received so this dot ID equal to ID this dot title equal to title this dot author equal to author so whatever I'm getting here is getting stored in this okay in this class object all right and uh, okay so that's it I think this is done now all right so okay so it seems that you know we even don't need this right now getters and setters we can even try without that but let's try without you know uh, once we are done with it we will just remove this constructor is also enough for us okay but you know sometimes we do need this because sometimes we have to compare two objects so it will be very handy for us when we are doing that so we can keep that for now and let's try okay so this has been done object has been created and now we are passing the object of the Java object which we have passed before so as uh, just go through that code again we are giving a base URI here okay because if you're calling this rest assured base URI this base URI will be set for this call so we will call this and then we are giving given when then in given as I have told you before we can give these many things in given okay so we're giving a header here as content type application JSON and we are calling an end method so that's okay you can remove it also but just to keep just keep it it will it's more readable and then we are calling a body in which we are passing the Java object all right then under when we are calling a post method and we are giving a resource of a post so resource of a post we can get from here the file the you know uh, the documentation so whenever we want to call post we have to give this post okay so once we have given this we are calling then method all right and then we are checking just now status code so right now we are just checking the status code nothing else just want I want to make your concepts clear and then once we are concepts are clear we will check few more things here beside the status we will check each and every key which is getting we will check some values of those keys and all those things which we will do it in the later video but for now I just want to make it simple I'm just trying to show you how, what are the different ways through which we can call the JSON method okay so all right let's do that now right click run as test ng test okay see it has ran and we got the header 
okay we got the id 214 the random number and it's passed okay if you see here post hit on enter you will see 214 is there even if you call it individually through a get method which is 214 okay you will see this has been added all right so this is the way we can go ahead and you know uh, we can give a data and uh, through which we will get the results in the next video i will also tell you that once we get a result here we can even store this data into uh, you know into some object okay and then we can compare we can compare it if you want we can assert it all right so that's it for now and uh, if you like the video please click on the like button all right thank you for watching